All right, who's ready for more Elden Ring? I am Captain Beefy with the Game Vault here today. And we are starting up our next little episode here. What? I have a stone sword key? Okay. So why is it offering me all this stuff to do? I can't do it. I can't even swing my weapon in here. Use Tarnish Furled Finger to write a gold summon sign. No, oh, okay. So now my weapon works. All right, well, let's move on and see what's going on here. Uh, we made it through the little basic beginning tutorial. I don't know if there's any more to it or not. Um, oh, it's a hell of an elevator. Pretty sweet technology level there. And there is our staircase up. Oh, like I said before, head to the light. Oh, look at that. It's a beautiful day out. Made it to Limgrave, wherever that is. And it looks like uh, we've entered the open world now. Here's where everything will probably go to hell in a handbasket. But I'm not scared. Let's read this message. Somebody decided to leave one here. Wow, look at that tree. It's so pretty. Is this... Yeah, this looks like another Sight of Grace. Oh, okay. So that's showing me kind of where to go. Oh, Who's this? Yes, tarnished, are we? Come yes. to the lands between for the Elden Ring. Hmm? Of course, you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. Wow. All right, so there's our motivational speech for the day. Okay. Everything looks so innocent and peaceful here. What could possibly go wrong? Hey, sheep. Hello, let me go pet you. He rolls. What the hell is that? Whatever it is, it's huge. All right, sheep on fire. Little rocks bouncing around. Uh. 
Yeah, I played this game just so I could kill sheep. That dude on the horse was huge. We probably shouldn't mess with him. So we will. Ho ho! <laughs> oh, that hurt. Yep. We're just going to take our beating. <laughs> oh, man, that was painful. <laughs> oh, it was supremely painful. All right, note to self. Don't shoot the guy on the horse. So, I wonder if he's only unfriendly if you attack him. Nope. All right, so. We just need to avoid him at all costs. Alright, go ahead and kill me, you jerk. <laughs> Alright, so we're doing a little science here, and of course we have... We're 0 and 2. But we didn't even try to fight him this time. We'll give it a little try. We are definitely getting our sword out for this one. Ah, uh, you can't get me. Oh crap. Can I even hit him? Well, that didn't work out in my favor. What happened to open world games just giving you a bunch of uh, nice little cannon fighter enemies to level up on? Now, these guys throw me this monster behemoth of a guy on a horse in full armor with a weapon the size of a building. Let's see if we can stealth by him. All right, looks like he's got a patrol route. So yeah, very mean guy on a horse. Um, I don't recommend interacting with him right off the bat. He seems a little agitated. Probably hates his job. Take that, sheep. This looks like a busted up, fallen over building of some sort. Told us to go vaguely this direction. What are these things?
looked like eagles, didn't they? They were kind of cool. Oh, look, another huge monstrosity. I guess I can run around and kill about 30,000 sheep to level up. Whoa. Almost took myself off the cliff there. Damn it, didn't mean to do that. I gotta get used to these controls. Look at these little guys. What is this? Oh, a little, little dragon like skull there, huh? Got us a big castle. Oh, this, these look like something that's worth fighting. Okay. Yeah, it's not 100 feet tall. It's not riding a horse. It doesn't have a weapon on it that looks like it could knock over the Empire State Building. So we can sneak up on guys, but... I don't see any stealth mechanic. That's kind of sad. Listen to the moan. Oh, he's just laying down there. So he replenished my flask. Or that group did. Alright. That's what I'm talking about. A little group of uh, low level enemies. Some zombies or jogger, whatever you want to call them. The hell are these things? They don't look like they're alive. Oh, but they are. How gross is that? One did. These things are gross. But, you know, who knows? They might be friendly, but it looked like he was spitting poison, so I don't think he's very friendly. Huh. <laughs> I don't know if I'd call them incredible, but they're pretty gross. So one thing I definitely need to... F oh, look, a turtle! Look how cool. Nice big tortoise. What the hell is that? And dragonfly. Dragonflies aren't aggressive in real life, but a dragonfly that side in a in a game, yeah, it's gonna kill you. J 
just kind of wandering around aimlessly. I'm kind of looking at this tortoise here, and I know this is going to upset a lot of people, but... Oh. We got gold-tinged uh, excrement. And some turtleneck meat. Oh, dragonfly head, too. Okay. You haven't had head till you've had dragonfly head. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, sorry. Oh, look at this guy. He's just cruising around. He's like la di da. I'm out for a walk. And he's down. All right, I don't feel so horrible now. At least the tortoise didn't kill me. Here's another dude just wandering around. All right. Nice heavy hit and then two light hits. And he's down. This guy's fully aware of me. And still took a two heavy, or one heavy and two lights, okay. Oh, and look at this, a cave. What do you find in caves in video games? Usually a lot of death. But in this one, we find a touch of grace. So, huh, okay, so we got stuff we can put into a chest. Fascinating. Here's where the death will be. That looks like a tiger. Or a wolf? Yeah. I think that's a wolf for sure. Oh, and there's several of them. <laughs> no door ahead. Something glowing over there. Took him down with an arrow. Oh God, it's angry. Where to go? All right, wow. We killed several of those guys. Let's take our medicine. There's another one down there. That one looks a little leery. Is he scared? All right, well, we 
cracked him. Got a cracked pot. There's something glowing down here. Oh crap. And there's a lot of wolves in here. Bunch of silver flyer fireflies, okay. There's no climbing mechanism that I can see, but this puts us back up here where we were. These messages are a little distracting. Oh, what's this going to do for me? Yikes. Oh, man. Yeah, he put me right in the dirt. So traversing the mist looks like it leads to a boss fight. Noted. Well, they really don't have much of a choice but to go back in there and try to regain my souls or runes or whatever you want to call them that I lost. That's one ugly son of a bitch, too. Look at him. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to... Ah, I think this is kind of a lost cause. All right, note to self. Do not go through the mist until you are fully ready. Up, I guess we can kill off these wolves. Not an easy thing to do here. I guess that other stuff that we got, we kept. Whoa, where'd you come from? Flask is very important. All 
All right, well, I guess for now, I'm gonna head back out into the world. Unfortunately, the flask doesn't heal you fully, but I imagine you can upgrade that later to where it heals a larger portion of your life. But yeah, we're walking away. That probably resurrected these enemies out here, which is a good thing since we lost all those souls that we had, or runes, or whatever you want to call them. We'll gain a few more back. And then we'll try to figure out how to level up. What's this guy doing? Oh, he's just chilling. That's a nice little house of some sort. And ooh, weird glowing ball. That was strange. Oh, it's a dung beetle. Crimson and Cerulean teardrop scarabs. Ah, okay. I'm sorry, little beetle, you died for nothing other than knowledge. We learned something there. So we see those little dung beetles running around. We kill them. Oh. I'll say that's a hog, that's not friendly. Um, not in the real world, not in any game I ever played. You come across a boar or a hog, you kill it. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to kill nice little creatures. Well, there's something there. Oh, I guess that's my souls I lost earlier. I'm definitely not going back for them because I gathered more and I'll just lose those as well. Gold tinged excrement. Hello, little deer. Oh yeah, those guys are back, and so is our friend. Hey! I got some more gold-tinged excrement. Cool. Pardon me, but that shit's worth a lot. Ha <laughs> ha Alright, so it looks like I got poisoned. Damn you, dragonfly. Where I'm more talented, I'm going to take you out with a shot from my trusty bow. What do I have to do? Stand still when he comes at me? Nope. Alright.
Now let's head on back in here to the Groveside Cave. We'll pass the time until morning. And with that, we're going to wrap up this episode of Elden Ring. As always, I'm Captain Beefy with The Game Vault, and I'd like to thank you for joining me today. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell for notifications. That way we can continue to bring you walkthroughs like this. And then i got some other new features that are coming out uh, starting this very week. And in fact, today we should have some uh, new stuff dropping on games I previously covered in a much... Uh, shall I say uglier format like it's a 360 uh, resolution and all that so leave a comment on the video let me know what you think of this game are you familiar with the Souls games at all I am not so this is a new experience for me I understand there's quite a learning curve to them and they tend to be very difficult and as you can see by the number of times I died in two episodes which is probably more than I died overall in all of a complete run through of Horizon Zero Dawn uh, it is a challenging game. Whew. All right. Well, we'll see you. See you next time.